aware of this, but the Fed's projections of inflation have consistently been off. They've consistently been low. And at some point, I think we need to acknowledge that this is not playing out the way um, I think the Fed had hoped. Let me shift the topic to a central bank digital currency. Um, so I'm increasingly intrigued by the opportunities that a properly designed central bank digital currency could provide to the U.S. To name a few, um, instant zero-cost payments, interoperability and programmability with smart contracts, international competitiveness all come to mind. But getting the design correct, getting it right, is essential. For instance, the privacy of Americans has to be respected. We shouldn't design a central bank digital dollar that allows the government to spy on Americans every transaction. And the Fed is certainly not suited to be a retail bank, and so we sh certainly shouldn't try to turn it into one. Uh, in my view, privately issued digital currencies should be able to coexist with a digital dollar if we go down that road. And private sector developers certainly should be able to innovate either on or in an in a interoperable fashion with a digital dollar. So I'm not asking you to opine on any of these things, but it seems to me the decision about whether or not to go down this road is transformational, and there are very, very important and sensitive design issues that would have to be resolved. So I think that ought to be done in a transparent process with political accountability which is to say with congressional input. Could you comment on how important you think it is to have congressional authorization if we're going to go down the road of a digital dollar? I, I'd be glad to. Um, and by the way, I, I agree. This, this is critical work that we want to take forward. So the, the laws that were – the relevant parts of our law were written long before digital finance was a thing. And while and – and a central bank digital currency could take many forms, it is possible that under some forms you'd be able to – make an argument that it would be authorized under current law. But I think this is such a fundamental issue. It would be ideal if this were to be a product of broad consultation and ultimately authorizing legislation from Congress.